Hi everyone, Merry Christmas Eve and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing two types of cookies, chocolate chip, actually sorry, three, chocolate chip cookies, I'm getting, I'm using the minis, uh, the Funfetti cookies, and then also um, peanut butter kiss cookies. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using, super simple stuff here and they're delicious. Hey guys, so let's get started. Uh, we have our cookies to be made. There's three dozen cookies I'm making today. We're gonna start with the chocolate chip because that's my favorite probably. And let's go ahead and get started. So we want to have two eggs. So we'll go ahead and grab that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the two eggs. Next, we're gonna do one cup of butter. Okay, so I'm getting that butter softened up. Let's go ahead and keep going with this. We're gonna do two teaspoons of vanilla. So let's get our teaspoons ready. I just microwave my butter just to get it a little bit soft so I can blend it. Two teaspoons of vanilla, just using imitation vanilla. You can use pure vanilla if you want. Okay, I'm making a mess here, guys, but it's one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of salt, Two teaspoons of hot water. Okay guys, so we have our one cup of butter. Put that in there. Just gonna go ahead and mix that up real quick. Next, we're gonna get a cup of regular white granulated sugar. Get that in there. We're going to get a cup of brown sugar. All right, so one cup of the brown sugar. I like brown sugar. Brown sugar makes stuff so good, like baked beans, things like that, right? All right, so next we're gonna do the flour. Three cups of flour. All right, one more. And then what we're gonna do is just mix this up, guys. Okay, guys, I do have my oven set for preheat at 350 degrees, just a heads up. These, once they're ready, are gonna go in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Sometimes I even keep them in for 15, depending on uh, what they're looking like. It's kind of by eye. You don't want them, you know, undercooked, so be careful with that. So I'm just gonna turn that around real quick, and next we're gonna go ahead and blend this all together, all right, to form the dough. Hey guys, when blending, just make sure you're getting around the corner so you're getting all that flour. You can even do a turn or two just to make sure everything's getting, you know, blended on the bottom. I mean, or you're, you're probably using a big mixer. I'm just using this because that's what I have. Um, so go ahead and just make sure everything's evenly being blended up. All right, keep it going. All right, guys, so in this stage of the game is the chocolate chips. I have the minis. They're semi-sweet. So good. I also like using these in my banana bread too. I'm putting them all in. We're throwing the whole bag in there. All right. Don't be scared of the chocolate. All right, let's mix this up next. Go ahead and do it on low. Okay guys, go ahead and unplug your mixer. It's now done. At this point you're going to, I'm just gonna put this off to the side because I'm gonna be using it again shortly. So what you want to do now is just make sure your hands are very clean. You know, if they're already clean, just rewash them real quick. So wash your hands. All right. So now you're going to go ahead and roll them into balls. See how that became a dough? All right. So you're going to do them about this big. Place them on your baking sheet. And just keep going with that. Hey, okay, guys. So we're all done rolling up the balls. We're still waiting for the first batch in the oven. It makes about 36 um, I'm not sure why I told you 24 or whatever. <laughs> it makes 36. Um, so this is the chocolate chip cookies. Um, once those other ones come out, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what they look like while they're cooling off. And we're going to get right rolling into the next cookie batch. Once they're cool, you can start stacking them. But right now they're just going to be cooled off. I'm just going to show you the bottom of what 
they're too soft to pick up. Um, I just want to show you what the bottom's going to look like and what you want them to look like, but these look so good. So keep on going. You just keep rolling and put them in the oven. Okay, guys, we're using the same container because we're doing the same exact uh, recipe. The only thing we're doing different is, is adding the Toll House Funfetti chips. So I'm not going to put you through the whole process again when it's the same exact process. I'll just put it in, I'll just show you when I get the Funfetti chips in. So this is round two. This is going to be the Funfetti Vanilla Cup, uh, sorry, Vanilla Cake flavored morsels. And they're going to go in to the mix. Just putting the whole thing in. Okay, so you just want to blend this up nice and lightly. I want to break it up a little bit because it's kind of stuck to the sides. So you just want to work that around. All right, you can do it manually so you can get a, there you go. Okay guys, so there you have it. You're going to do the same process. You're going to roll these up in balls just like you did the chocolate chips. All right, so go ahead, dive in there. Making them about this big. All right, and go ahead and form your balls. Started to put these on, but I wanted to show you this really cute plate I have. I brought that to work last year when I made them cookies. So there's the chocolate chip. They're still, you know, cooling off. And we're getting these um, Funfetti cookies on the tray. Yes. So I'm just letting these cool off so I can move them over to that side. I'm going to turn it this way. We're going to be doing the peanut butter blossoms. So what you want to do is get your two eggs. All right, you're going to get your one cup of butter. Just two sticks. You're going to do baking soda, one half teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, so then you're done with that. that mix. All right, so after that, after you blend that up, you do want to get your one cup of sugar. You want your one cup of brown sugar. I'm going to do three cups of flour. Two. I'm going to get three. All right, so you want to get one cup of peanut butter in there. I'm going to grab a different spoon to get this out with. All right, so get your peanut butter right in there. I'm going to add another little spoonful because I don't, I didn't pack it in, so I want to make sure it's enough. Now that's blended, I'm going to show you, you have to get a plate with some sugar on it. You might not even need this much, but okay. So same concept, roll it in a ball. All right. Then you're going to roll it in the sugar just like so. Then you're going to get that on your baking sheet. All right. Just like that. I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. You're going to put these in the oven, same Thing 350 for about 12 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. And I'm going to show you how you incorporate the um, Hershey Kisses because what you're going to do is put these in the oven, let them cook, and when you take them out, you quickly put the Hershey Kiss in the middle and then you let it cool. Okay? These are what's left that has to go in the oven. So we're doing really well with timing. I'm kind of waiting for those other cookies to come out so I could put the peanut butter blossoms in. Um, just washed all my dishes, made sure that was clean, cleaned up my area. That big pot is for, a, it's a stock pot for some chicken and gnocchi soup that I'm making for tomorrow. So we're just waiting around. Switch the trays because I have to stack these cookies, but I can't stack the peanut butter blossoms. So I did switch them to that. These I'm going to stack up next. And I'm going to start opening the Hershey Kisses. What we're doing kisses. next is just going to uh, open some of these Hershey Kisses. I have a ton of them here. Just go ahead and start opening them up so they're ready for when the cookies come out. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on this and get a plate to put these on. So I'll be right back. You guys, I grabbed the plate to put the chips, um, not chips, the Hershey Kisses on. So at this point, we're looking at about 50 more cookies to be baked. I put a batch of the 
peanut butter ones in so I could show you guys how to do the rest. And then we're pretty much going to wrap up this video of cookie baking. Okay guys, so the, the peanut butter cookies are now out of the oven. So what I did is just put two and then I'm just going to show you these two. I'm just going to go ahead and stick the Hershey Kiss, which I did, but I took it out so I could show you, right in the middle. And then once this cools off, it will um, hold on to that candy quite well. And so we were just waiting for the rest of the cookies. We're almost done. That one's we're still working on. I accidentally smashed that one, so I'll just eat that. But that's what it's looking like. I'll show you guys when they're all done and on their trays. It's going to be another hour or two, so I'll be You back. guys, everything's all cleaned up. Just waiting for this last batch of peanut butter cookies. And I'm ready to rock. i got to make that pork and the sauce. I think that's pretty much all I'm doing today. Tomorrow morning I'll be up early to start my rest of my cooking. So I'm sitting down for a snack. I'm having some shrimp off the shrimp ring that I bought for my house. We had purchased some for my parents' house and I got myself one. But this is so impossible to open. I'm going to have to grab a knife to get that open. But the cookies are almost done. Um, I have about 20 more in the oven that are about to be finished. So I made about 120 total with the three different kinds. And my mom's making the Italian cookies, biscotti di Natale, which are basically ricotta cookies. So she's making that. Um, after the, Oh, do you hear that? I think the cookies are done. Finally all done and plated. Okay, there's about 110 cookies here. So that's what it looks like when they're all finished. Can't wait to have some tomorrow. They're all cooled off. I gotta cover them up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a very merry Christmas Eve. And tomorrow is Christmas. How exciting. He's so good.